Welcome back, everybody. Paradise is uh, doing really well. Sunshine still, 16 degrees. Slab City, Walbush, cloud 25. Clarenville, partly sunny, 16. Recapping tomorrow's weather. We've got a good one. A mix of sun and cloud for Newfoundland tomorrow. Uh, temperatures from 24 to about 28, but getting up to 31, 32 in western and central parts. And for Labrador tomorrow, a uh, mix of sunshine and cloud, maybe some cloud in the north earlier in the day. 19 in the west, around 23 for uh, Happy Valley Goose Bay. And on the coast, uh, from 16 in the north to 20 degrees in the south. And for the last time, that's the weather. Now... Time for our birthdays and anniversaries. Happy anniversary to you folks, Mark and Maisie Chalk. Congratulations. They're from Charlottetown, Bonavista Bay, celebrating their 50th today. Frank and Barbara Barrett of Arnold's Cove, celebrating their 50th July 29th. Edgar and Shirley Hindi of St. John's, their 50th July 29th. Emmanuel and Louise Young of Cornerbrook, their 50th July 31st. Otto and Margaret Whedon of Fredericton, uh, their 53rd recently. John and Elizabeth Pinhorn uh, of Winterton, uh, their 61st today. And Hayward and Marie Drover of Shoal Harbor, their 57th anniversary on July 29th. Happy birthday now to Dora Butler of Glenbrook Lodge, who will be 101 tomorrow. Sophie Oldford of Sunshine Manor, Clarenville, 92 July 29th. And Mary McDonald of Kilbride is going to be 93 on July 29th. Congratulations, everybody. Here we are, are all together mm. for the last time yep. on Here and Now. I can't believe this is really happening, but it's been a, a day of reflection for you and all of us as we look back at your career, Carl. It's been an emotional day, and... Mm. Um, I'd be lying if I didn't say a little sad. Mm. It's uh, been kind of hard for me to accept the fact that I'm not going to be uh, with these guys <laughs> on Monday. I, I want to ask you, because I, I, I've been on holidays and I've watched some of the tape over the course of the week. You started in an era when you were using the chalk. Oh, absolutely. And you've yeah. gone, and you've gone yeah. you know, right to now. the high-tech yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean, w w what goes through your mind? You, you sit here, it's the last day, you know, what are you, what are you thinking? Well, uh, you know, um, I, I listen to uh, the radio montage of, of the stuff that I've done over the past 31 years, and, and the first thing that came to my mind was, my God, I didn't realize that I did so much, you know? Uh, and I was lucky because I, I got to see television and radio go from low-tech to really high-tech. You know, the difference is amazing, and I am, for heaven's sake, I mean, you know, the, the announcer who showed me the ropes my first day here was Aubrey Mack. That'll tell you something. Now, we have some tape of St. Brendan's. Of tape, Can yeah. you set it up for us? St. Brendan's Island. Uh, was, you know, I did all of these trips. And St. Brendan's Island, an island in Bonavista Bay, uh, I visited. And uh, this is just kind of gives a taste of that kind of rural thing that I did. I'm about to board the ferry Hamilton Sound, which is making the run these days between Burnside and St. Brendan's Island. I know it's a bit isolated, and I know that they've had to put up with every kind of weather condition. But apart from that, I don't know very much about it. But I'm hoping to learn a lot more today. So St. Brendan's, here we come. There are literally hundreds of islands in this part of Bonavista Bay. Now, at one time, some of these islands were inhabited. But these days, I think you'll find only a few have people living on them. In the glory days, about 800 people lived on St. Brendan's. Now about 350. The names haven't changed, though. You'll still find plenty of Whites, Burrisfords, Brodericks, Kellys, and Crokes. Now, Carl, you made another, uh, I think it was, this was a first, wasn't it? The Hibernia trip. The Hibernia thing, yeah. We did the weather live from there. First live TV broadcast from Hibernia. And that was a thrill just going out there and seeing it. And this is what it looked like the day we left. Hibernia, here we come! There it is, my god, it looks incredible! This huge construction just standing here in the middle of the Atlantic. And I gotta tell you, 
Uh, Captain Bird and his co-pilot, Captain Don Roach, made a perfect landing here at the platform today. Now, uh, we I had a great job. We have before before we go, we have a surprise here. Can we put up the photo, guys? Somebody sent this in, and this is your school photo from Holloway School. And uh, let's go to the tight shot of Carl. This was apparently Halloween. Oh, yeah. Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. That's why yeah. you loved Halloween so much. Yeah, All there you those go, uh, yeah. that was acts kindergarten. that you did kindergarten. Yeah. What, what, for us on here. What was right your now? costume? I just uh, I was a clown. <laughs> well, I got to say something to we the audience seconds. before I go, um, folks. I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your living rooms every night for the past 30 odd years. It's been a real pleasure. You have been very kind to me. And if we ever run into one another in the mall or the supermarket, don't be afraid to say hello. Thank Good you. Good night, guys. everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs>